What's up, guys? In this video, we're going to talk about four mistakes that you should avoid at all costs if you want to pass the clinical SIMS exam. Are you ready? Let's go. So I just gotta be real with you for a minute. I'm really tired of seeing students fail the clinical SIMS exam. For the most part, the most common mistakes that students are making are 100% avoidable. So in this video, I'm going to discuss some of them with you in hopes that I can help you avoid the mistakes. Sound good? If so, let's dive right in. Here are the top four mistakes you should avoid if you want to pass the CSE. Four, studying the wrong information. I often see students spending too much of their time focusing on learning the topical content. Instead, they should be focusing on mastering disease management on a case-by-case -case basis. If this seems overwhelming to you, don't worry, we break this down in a simplified manner inside of our CSE study guide and make it super easy for you so that you can be sure that you're not wasting your time focusing on the wrong things. 3. Waiting too long to take the clinical sims after passing the TMC exam. This one is tricky because you want to have enough time to prepare for the unique structure of the CSE. But at the same time, you also don't want to wait too long because all the information that helped you pass the TMC exam is still fresh in your brain. And if you wait, you may forget a lot of that information. There's definitely a fine line and every student is different. You have to do what's best for you. With that being said, in my experience, I've seen students have more success when they are proactive about preparing for and scheduling to take the clinical sims a short time after passing the TMC exam. We recommend scheduling to take the CSE one to three weeks after you pass the TMC exam. But again, every student is different and you have to do what is best for you. Two, not fully understanding the unique structure of the clinical sims. As I'm sure you know, the CSE is a totally different animal compared to the TMC exam. You can say bye-bye to the multiple choice format that we're all accustomed to. The CSE is structured totally different and it's crucial that you understand this format if you want to pass the exam. And unfortunately, far too many students go into this exam blind without fully understanding its unique format, and it shows. That's why we break it down inside of our CSE study guide and make it easy for you to grasp so that you'll be fully prepared when you take the real thing. And last but not least, the number one mistake I see. One, students are not willing to put in the work. Uh, this is the one that gets me. I see far too many students get complacent after they pass the TMC exam with the high cut score. It's like they think that since they passed it, they'll automatically pass the clinical sims without putting in any additional effort. This is a huge mistake. And unfortunately, this couldn't be further from the truth. And this is one of the biggest reasons why I see students fail. Passing the TMC exam is an amazing accomplishment. It really is. But that means that you only won the first battle. The war isn't over until you pass the clinical SIMS exam as well. We've done our job by giving you exactly what you need in order to pass the exam inside of our CSE study guide. Now it's up to you to put in the time, effort, and of course the work necessary to make sure that you truly learn all the information that you need to know. I wish I could learn it for you, but unfortunately I can't. It's up to you. Whew, that got deep for a minute. I hope that these tips were helpful for you and I hope you can avoid making these common mistakes. If you haven't already, definitely go ahead and grab your copy of our CSE study guide so that you can truly increase your chances of passing the exam on your next attempt. We're going to walk you through it step by step so you can avoid these mistakes at all costs. And if you get your copy today, we're also going to include some amazing bonuses as well for a limited time. So if you're interested, you can use the link below at the very top of the description. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. And as always, breathe easy, my friend.